sometimes they have to escort traffic through. Cumberland Gap Tunnel is the name of it. This is an authentic Civil War cannon, which wow. was used at the Battle of Chickamauga. It says Boone led 30 companions, each with an axe, to mark out a road. There. So this is the home of Lee Majors, yeah. the six million dollar man. Guess what? what? I have brought you to a house <laughs> made of coal. Yes, we're getting a stress too. Where's your bill phone? <laughs> I gotta buckle up. You better. I better buckle up. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Is this the right direction? For all those ladies out there, you know, around your age, mid thirties. <laughs> Look at that over there. Isn't that something? Yes. Amazing. God bless all who have and all that will die for freedom. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, look at that. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, we're on the road. We are in Cumberland Gap, Virginia right now. We're on 58 West. We're going over to 25. But we're going to go through the tunnel. Where's the tunnel at? It's up here. Okay. It, it goes from Tennessee to Kentucky. We're gonna go out through the tunnel, Middlesboro, fuel up, maybe get some stuff for a picnic, uh -huh. and then come back down 25, down the beautiful drive. And you said something about maybe me driving some today. You'd like to. So y'all come along with it? Yeah. It's pretty up there here, isn't it? Uh -huh. 58 West. Okay, I see the Tennessee State line right up here. Right. You see it? So see, we're in a section that is a corner where we're near the Virginia, Tennessee, and Kentucky line. There it is. Mm -hmm. You ready to sing Rocky Top? <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh. Historic area, Cumberland Gap, Tennessee, next right. The Old Mill Inn and Breakfast is up that way. A little bit. We got Harrogate, Taswell, left lane, Middlesboro, right lane. Oh. But look at that mountain. There's only one way through that mountain for miles and miles and miles. And it's the tunnel? Yep. Speed limit for you. Uh, and I'm trying to remember how long this tunnel is. It's a long ways through here. There was what back there it said stop here, wait for escort. I wonder what that's about. Um sometimes they have to escort traffic through Cumberland Gap Tunnel is the name of it. Yes. It's well lit, isn't it? It is, yeah. Stay in lane. Mm-hmm. We're in the middle of a mountain right now. Isn't that crazy? It is. Seems like the older we get, the more amazed we are with certain things in our lives. Wow. <laughs> And it seems like it doesn't take much <laughs> to amaze us. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We were just cooped up for so many years, weren't we? Yeah, we were. Now we're out on the run. Now we're free. We're free birds. Is this the Kentucky right, right, Here's the Kentucky yeah. line. Welcome, Welcome to Kentucky. Bluegrass, Bell County, Cumberland Gap, National Store Park and Visitor Center. No commercial vehicles. Let's go over here and see if they're open. Headquarters Pinnacle Overlook. Cool. Mm -hmm. They do have some restrooms. If you're coming through here, you can uh, stop in there. Gateway to Kentucky. Exploring Cumberland Gap National Historic Park. Why is it, why is it spelled like that? Cane Tuck. Gateway to Cane Tuck. For travelers who had to walk, the Appalachian Mountains seemed like an impenetrable wall. 600 miles long and 150 miles wide. Here at Cumberland Gap, you could find both a good way in and a good way out. Here's the cannon. Let's mm -hmm. see what it says here. This is an authentic Civil War cannon, which wow. was used at the Battle of Chickamauga. Let's see. What do you see over there? Wow, this? look at this. This is actual notes that people made. We went four miles to a large creek, which we called Cedar Creek, 
being a branch of bear grass and six mile and then it says dr thomas walker april 14th 1750 the first written record of the discovery of cumberland cap here's something by daniel boone William. what did daniel boone say y'all can pause this and and read it if you would like there you go it's kind of hard to all right i think it is open we'll check it out inside hey Hello. how are you sir oh it feels good in here yeah, it's, it's nice, nice. And warm mm -hmm. How many of y'all like whorehound candy? Somebody in our family used to eat it. I used to like those cinnamons. You get your book in here. You're gonna be camping for a, for a while. Well, how neat is this? You hear the birds? Mm -hmm. Here's the earliest travelers, peaceful traders. As this woman might have traveled from the Ohio River Valley as far south as the Gulf of Mexico. Hunters and warriors. Explorers and land seekers. It says Boone led 30 companions, each with an axe, to mark out a road in the best passage from the settlement through the wilderness to Kentucky. Oh, that's neat. A little canteen. Keeping control of the gap required tremendous effort to fortify it with guns and ammunition. Here, Confederate soldiers are pulling guns across Walden's Ridge near Cumberland Gap. You there little juvenile bear in his place, isn't he? Mm -hmm. 58 caliber. There's a bullet from Pineville right there. So guys, we wanted to go to Pinnacle Overlook and we asked ranger. the ranger inside and he said, are you not in the RV, are you? And we said, yeah, a camper <laughs> van. He said, are you over 20 feet or over? We said, yeah, 21 feet. <laughs> it's barely. Yeah. He said, so, he don't think he, he would try it in that. And then there's a sign there that says no vehicles 20 feet or more. But if you want to come here and go up there and you're in an RV, they do offer some shuttles from time to time. Here we are, back to Old Faithful. We never did name our van. We did, but we're Maybe, not taking her up to Pinnacle Overlook, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Maybe we ought to let the folks on the channel try to name it see what they come up with. Yeah. We'll go ahead on over toward um, Middlesboro. And then I guess we'll go back through the tunnel. Okay, and this is Middlesboro, right? Yeah, it's just, it's not even a 10th of a mile from uh, where we were at at the visitor center. Mm -hmm. Middlesboro, but, Kentucky. Hey. hey, what? We did pass a sign. Yes. <laughs> said this is the home of Lee Majors. Yeah. The Six Million Dollar Man. That's right. How many of you all watched Six Million Dollar Man growing up? Tell us in the comments. One of my friends from college, mother, went to high school with him. You're going, there's a food city right back here somewhere. We got her a chai tea and they didn't get it hot enough, so we had to fire up the generator. <laughs> yes. Generator information right there, which makes it nice. Now we won't have to have the generator to cook them hamburgers. We won't. Food City. It's hard to beat good old Food City. Stop this thing. Guess what? What? I have brought you to a house <laughs> made of coal. Really? You wanna see it? Yes. Look at that thing. We'll walk over there in just a second. Middlesboro. English colony founded in 1886 by Alexander Arthur. There you go, you guys can read that. It's like a coal museum here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at this thing. All you folks, you coal miners that watch our show, you can tell us all about all this stuff. This is a torture tour at window number one. Next door to the coal museum is a coal house which is the headquarters for the Bell County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Commission. This building was constructed in 1926 with 42 tons of coal mined from this very area. Did you see that, Karen? That's crazy. It says the building is one of only two buildings in the United States constructed of coal and has held up surprisingly well. Fortunately, it's never caught fire, but I think a storm did tear down part of it. You know, I grew up in southwest Virginia, coal mining country. You did. So this is right up my alley, too. 
It's just lots of history here. There's just so much to see. Look at all the lanterns. Over there it says that one of the locomotives used to carry coal was from Marietta, Georgia. Mm. And here is the house built of coal. Look at this. In 1988, a tornado blew away the back of the house and it was replaced with vinyl siding. But somebody lived in it when it was first constructed oh, as a I house. Oh, I don't know. Look at that. It's crazy. No wonder we've never heard of it because there's only two. So you don't want to strike a match in this house. No. Some old buildings up the street there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And right here to the left is the post office. Right there. Big old nice post office, isn't it? It is. I don't know. To me, little things like this right here is interesting. Yes. Especially when it's first ever time. Yep, see said. the siding there? Uh -huh. you can tell. Tornado got it. Okay, you ready? We'll head back through the tunnel. Take yes. a few stops. Let's do it. All right. We're going to Tazewell, New Tazewell. Then we're going to pass, um, we're going back into Tennessee here. Ready to sing Rocky Top again. And if you went that way, that takes you toward Jonesville, Virginia. So mm -hmm. this is kind of like a tri-state tri area. So Lincoln Memorial says is a mile down through here. Now Abraham Lincoln Museum is actually on the campus at Lincoln Memorial. Back when I traveled and led worship, we would come to Lincoln Memorial yes, for uh, youth groups and I would sing. Isn't that hat shop in New Tazewell that you love? Yes. I've only got one hat there that the owner, the lady, she makes them herself. This is Claiborne County. Mm -hmm. See it there? And uh, Lincoln Museum's over to the right. Welcome to Harrogate, Tennessee. Now this is Harrogate. Yeah, here we are. Just like that. You go through the mountain, you're in Harrogate, and Middlesboro on the other side. You can show the campus over there. It's a really pretty campus. Now you may be like me and know this university as LMU. I mean, I know it so much from LMU, it's hard for me to remember what it stands for. Portrait on the top of that. Library and Museum, that was his library and museum. Look up here at all the historic little cabins. Oh yes, that's so neat. They've got it in the bank over there. See the LNU? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the campus all back there. All right, we'll see you guys in Tazewell. Here's the big rooster. Legacy down south. Remember the name. Okay, we're not gonna buy a hat, all right? Well, we'll see. <laughs> what a cool building. Hey! Hi, how are you? Look at all the jewelry. They have nice jewelry. Mm-hmm. I like those. Green on it. Isn't that pretty? another Look bandana one. You can make someone smile. This is, this is not one of her handmade ones. That's pretty. I don't have this color. Oh boy. I like this dress right here. Oh, me and you both. I love that. You can see a bunch of stuff in here for um, home decorating, farm stuff. Mm -hmm. really? Yeah, it's called Decor and Boutique, mm -hmm. Legacy Down South. Yeah, looks like we are going to get a hat after all, That's right. I said, we'll, I said we'll see. So. She's wearing it out of here, folks. <laughs> yes, we're getting a stress too. Where's your bill, Phil? You ever heard that before? Look at that. Eat here. Well, congratulations. Looks like I was wrong. Thank you. Well, I think you need to drive since you got a hat. Is this where I'm driving? Okay. And before we get away from here, I'm going to do a little research here and get us on the right road. And hopefully it's one where you feel comfortable driving. Hopefully. I don't like to sound that. 
We need to know for sure. You haven't been behind the wheel since, oh, it's been probably... Since Southwest Virginia. So it was last August. Was it really? And this is February. <laughs> and you're getting ready to drive it again. Get your seat situated while I look some things up. Okay. Karen's putting her drink in the fridge. Okay, let's see here. Where are we headed? We're on 25. There's an overlook. That's what we're looking for. I'm getting hungry. We need to get some fuel. I gotta buckle up. <laughs> you better. I better buckle up, hadn't I? <laughs> Yeah, she'll do fine. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Is this the right direction we're going? You are going absolutely. Look at that big old rooster right there. Mm -hmm. Old John Deere. Okay, can you handle this thing? Yes. I believe you got it. Oh yeah. You're doing good. I knew I would. Over there is Picker's Paradise Swap Shop. Where the red light is or on a... Right here. I'm going to turn right, yeah. Look at this. Look at that old house up there. Goodness. It is. Here we go. We're going down to a two lane. Oh, over here's the uh, Frosty Freeze. It's open. We tried to go there before and they were closed. Yep, it is open. We're going to stop in there sometime and give us a hamburger. Okay, here we go. Next stop, top of the mountain. Little picnic. Well, hold us in the road now, you hear? Okay, I will. Well, this is pretty, isn't it? Oh, yes. Real pretty. You see why this is a scenic byway? Yes. Highway. Absolutely, I can see that. You can imagine in the fall how pretty that would be. Down off the mountain. I think we're leaving Claiborne County. Look how pretty that is. That's the Clinch River in uh, Granger County. That is pretty, isn't it? Well, she's doing a great job. Not a very difficult road, but no. still it's up been and down. Some curves and stuff. And but... mountainous, you know. But not. You know, not really steep or anything. Van handling pretty good for you? Yes, it is. For all those ladies out there, you know, around your age, mid 30s. Uh, <laughs> yes. saying I mean how hard how difficult do you find it they're probably wondering if they were to get something like this could they drive it yeah you could do it I've only driven it three times now if I remember right because some things are really there's a lot of high traffic on the interstate yeah a lot of places we go to congestion which I would not want to be driving it I could do it I just yeah. don't want to yeah if I had to do it in a have to case I could do it Okay, we're six minutes out, five miles from the Overlook. I haven't tried backing into a campsite yet or anything. Oh, we need to do that sometime. Yes, we do. Okay. All right, we'll see you up here at the top. <music> William Bean Gap. What's the name of it? Look over there. there. Veterans Overlook. That is unbelievable view. Mm -hmm. Veterans Overlook. Look at the water you can see. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was fun, y'all, and I didn't get nervous at all. Promise. That's because you just got a new hat. No nerves. Is and that, a dress. Do you think that's it? I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> let's go down here and show these folks this view. Cook us a hamburger. Look at that over there. Isn't that something? Yes. Amazing. Mm-mm. It's windy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. If you're traveling down the scenic byway, you definitely want to stop in here, pay tribute to the veterans, which we would like to, at this time, thank you for serving our country, all of you. Sailors moving into and beyond Granger County, which is where we're at. The Wilderness Road, the first family and other stories that need to be told. Yep. P. 
P.L. Oh, there's a P.L.W. missing an action flag. Yeah. And a United States American flag. Isn't that something? That bush right there is painted red, white, and blue. Beautiful. Hmm. Looking down at uh, Bean Station is one of Tennessee's earliest settlements. The valley you see was a war path for the Cherokees, led Daniel Boone to Cumberland Gap, and was traveled by Davy Crockett. Across Highway 11W to the right stood Bean Fort, built by William Bean. I like that sign, Veterans Overlook, Greater Love Hath No Man Than This, Than a Man Lay Down His Life for a Friend, mm -hmm. which is a scripture. Yeah. God bless all who have and all that will die for freedom. Yeah. So we said again, thank you. Yes. Thank you to all y'all who have served, are serving now. If you watch our videos and you're in the military in any way, reserves, whatever, leave us a comment. We'd like to know yes. and we'd like to personally thank you. And honor you. We honor mm -hmm. you. Can't get over that view. Those flags flying with the sun behind it. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We've got Nature's Own Brioche Style Hamburger Buns. Who's doing this cooking, me or you? You. Unfold this, make a little extension. Finish it up. Okay, we have a problem. <laughs> the only gloves we can find. They are the smalls and they fit Karen. So Mike's going to coach me on rolling Here, them you up. gotta have this. No, I'm going to just roll them up. You're going to cook them. After then I, I need them. this. <laughs> this is going to be a team effort. So we're only making two. I need to know how much I'm gathering Ooh. in the ball. You know I don't want a big one. That's good. Don't pack it too tight. Okay, is this big? This one big enough for you? Oh yeah, that's plenty. Okay, we got some of this good Amish butter. This knife is so sharp. Yeah, I don't want to burn that butter. You think they're ready now? Okay, yep, set them in there. Mash them down just a little bit with your hands. Just a little. No, not that much. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> There's one. We're going to have room. Nope. Well, we're setting a black stone. Nope. Now we'll let those here up on that side and then we'll flip them. Good homemade butter. Right there. And then we're going to flip them. Have I ever told you you look good in that apron? <laughs> oh my goodness. She has never told me I look good in this apron. And I think she's up to something is what I think. All right. We're going to flip them. Mm. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That looks good. Mmm. What a big hunk of meat. Now we got to put some seasoning on this side. Salt. Pepper. Fresh ground, and we'll be ready to eat here in just a minute. We are going to put this over this, let those cook inside a little bit better. We met some friends of the channel, and it was Chris and April, April. Crouch. They're from Indiana. Chris and April Crouch from Indiana. Yes. So nice to meet you guys. We're on our way to Severaville. We're celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary. Well, happy well, anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> no better place to spend it than the Smoky yeah, Mountains. That's right. <laughs> All right, nice to meet those folks. Yes. Let me set my burger off. I don't want mine. I don't like mine burnt like you do. I could actually use some cheese on that. You want to put cheese on yeah, that? Yeah, stick that back over here. <laughs> and the heat would still melt it. Yeah, that ought to do it right there. I caught somebody eating a little, I think somebody's eating a little pre-dinner. Folded. Pre-lunch chip. chip there. You know I got to find the folded ones. Mm, that's good. Perry's. Okay, I think we're ready. Woo -wee. Ready for you. Look at this, guys. I mean, you're not going to no roadside diner. Getting that. Look at that thing. Mm -mm. There's Karen's. And Mike's not strong. going at a diner. You're not going to find Mike looking cute in that apron. No, and I got to take this off. We're going to go right out there and maybe sit on that wall and what I think. And get this apron off. Thank you, Lord. 
here I come, got my meal. Why don't we just stop and pray for all of our veterans and families. Lord, be with them, bless them. Thank you for their service to our country. We love them, we love those families. Amen. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that's fabulous. Mm-hmm. Mm. Still juicy. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't think of a better place to stop and hang out and mm. fry a hamburger, smash burger here. You know, Road 25, beautiful view. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Thanks everybody for always coming along on our adventures. Your all's comments are always such an encouragement and blessing to us that you come along with us and enjoy our content. And we're just forever grateful for that. And when we get a chance to meet any of y'all, really neat to go through the tunnel both ways. Three states. Yeah, to be in the tri-state area, Tennessee, Virginia, and um, Kentucky to... I think I'd just call it the hub. <laughs> the hub, Mike says. Yeah, and just, I got to drive some up here to this overlook, which is gorgeous, a good place to have a picnic. And oh, she did a great driving, by the way. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. And I got to get a new hat, <laughs> <laughs> which is always a treat. Yeah, a great place for a little picnic here, for sure. Yes. Those of you wondering, one of the reasons we got the van we got. It's so nice to have everything we need right there. Mm -hmm. To be able to do picnics and stuff mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Well, we're going to sit here, enjoy this view, and eat mm -hmm. these smash burgers. Love you guys. Yes, we do. Appreciate you, though. Everyone, thanks for coming along on this great adventure. Till next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Bye, bye, bye everybody. everybody.